Hi, and uh, thanks for joining me on my little history channel, The History Squad. This is one of our random history uh, films. This is about the Battle of the Herrings way back in medieval France. So, Battle of Herrings. Really, it should have been called the Battle of Rouvray. Um, 12th of February, 1429, an English convoy led by Sir John Falstoff, who is leading his convoy of cannonballs, cannons, crossbow bolts, and barrels of herrings. Now, the herrings, I presume, would be smoked herrings, sealed in barrels, are because Lent is on its way. So, meatless time. So, that's what it's for. Uh, they're going down to Orléans, where the siege was really going on strong, said to be one of the longest sieges in the Hundred Years' War. But they were intercepted and, and attacked by a French force of some 4,000 men, including around 400 Scots. Uh, Charles de Bourbon led the French and John Stuart was the uh, leader of the Scots. They attack the wagons form a circle and fought up, just like some cowboy film, you know, they'll get round and the enemy are going to attack us in Hollywood style, except the French had artillery and they are firing on the English position. The English in turn have actually put stakes in front of their wagons. This is to prevent cavalry attacking. Now, if the French had have kept up the artillery barrage, would they have taken the English? But we'll never know because apparently, against orders, the Scots attack. This causes the French artillery to cease fire. So, Bourbon attacks with his men, except the infantry don't follow him. And as the attack goes in, they find that the horses can't get close because of the wooden stakes, and the bowmen, of course, are maintaining a terrible shot. And they notice that the French army, with the Scots army, is disorganized. So the English bowmen come from behind the wagons and attack them on the flank. It's a total rout. Yeah. Now, the French, I believe, lost between four and six hundred dead. The English, it's negligible. And the French were pushed away. And the English simply put the carts back together again. And off they go to Orléans. Um, History records it as a, as a minor thing that would have disappeared, except for the name of the herrings, or the impact it had. Because there's this little maid of Orléans, Jeanne d'Arc, Joan of Arc. She appears to have had a premonition about there being a defeat of the Dauphin's forces outside of Orléans. And this gives a bit of a strength to her cause, which eventually leads to her coming down to Orléans and relieving the siege. But that is another story. This story, the Battle of the Herrings. It wasn't soldiers hitting each other with fish. I've now explained one of those strange little quirks of history. So I hope you've enjoyed our little film, yeah? Uh, if you have, thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, great, because I am enjoying all of the comments that are coming backwards and forwards, they're great. And other people are commenting on the comments and there are conversations going on around the world, which I think is brilliant. If you're not a subscriber, then subscribe and ding that bell. Thank you very much for your time. Bye for now.